One of the projects we've got running at the moment involves tawny owls, and this is Chestnut, a long-term resident of the Hawke Conservancy Trust. We get a lot of tawny owls brought to our bird of prey hospital each year because tawny owls have a habit of leaving their nest before they can actually fly. They end up on the ground in the forest, people walking along either with their dogs or just going for a walk. They see these young owls, think they need help, they pick them up and they bring them to us. Of course, the best place for these owls is to leave them in the woods, but we do get a lot of tawny owls brought to us each year. And we've been looking at the best ways of getting these birds back to the wild. We've had quite a lot of success over recent years releasing these birds, and this year we've started a second stage to the project, which involves releasing them from a mobile release aviary. We take an aviary down to a section of woodland, which is suitable for tawny owls. We put the owls in there for about a week so they get accustomed to their environment. We feed them, we give them water, and then we open the door once they're accustomed to the area. The idea is to check and see how much the tawny owls come back and use the food that we provide for them after they've been released. Now tawny owls are pretty effective predators and we think they're probably unlikely to use the supplementary food very much. But nonetheless, we want to make sure that we're giving them the best chance once they're released back to the wild.